Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. My name is Christy and this is Easily Influenced. This is actually my second channel. I will have my other channel linked in the description box for you so you can go check it out if you're interested in keto, weight loss, a low carb lifestyle. So while you're hanging out over here today, make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. This channel is gonna be exactly as the name says easily influenced and that's me if i see it on social media if i see it on TikTok, on instagram it influences me i want to try it i want to check it out i want to see if that hack works that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be talking about some kitchen hacks some life hacks and maybe some of these are going to be new to you i hope while you're over here subscribe hit the notification bell so that way every time I upload you're going to know go check out some of the other videos this is actually going to be part two this is going to be an ongoing series life hacks but this one is going to be kitchen edition anything mentioned in today's video may be down in that description box so you'll have those links if you want to click on it and go check them out okay let's go ahead and get started with some of these life-changing kitchen hacks we're gonna talk about an air fryer hack now i talk about my air fryer all the time on my other channel i'm obsessed i cannot imagine my life without an air fryer at this point i have the kasori i've had it for about two years at this point one of the main reasons i went with this one it's because the two bottom portions of my kasori are going to be dishwasher safe i detest washing stuff by hand if your air fryer basket needs to be cleaned by hand or you're worried about possible wear and tear from the dishwasher on that, you wanna preserve that portion of the air fryer so that it lasts as long as possible, then this is a simple air fryer hack that makes cleanup easy. I just used my air fryer. I just made me some lunch and it is a disaster. <laughs> I'm gonna get really up close and personal so you can see. Now normally, like I said, since the Kasori basket, these two pieces right here are dishwasher safe, I would normally just put them in there. But since I wanna show you this hack, we're gonna clean it this way today. See what I'm talking about? It is a disaster. Let me take the basket out so you can see all of the grease yeah there was bacon involved in this meal and obviously cheese because some of the cheese got baked on and fell through now normally you would have to scrub all of this off but we're going to be able to clean this up in three minutes going to start out with some dish soap it does not matter what kind this is just what was under my sink dawn ultra pure essentials i'm not sure why i got this i must have found it on sale because i'm not a huge lavender scent person and this one is lavender wisp now all you're going to do is just put some in the basket next step we're going to add in some water obviously you're going to want this to go all the way up to the little basket so that it covers all of those little holes like what would that be called i guess the grate I'm not sure okay still putting some more in here there you go now it's going to be completely filled so that when i stick it back in my kasori and it's on an even surface everything is going to be covered so go ahead and close this up put your air fryer on 400 degrees for three minutes start it up three minutes is up look all of that that was hard and crusty on the bottom of my air fryer is now floating around all you have to do is dump this water out and give it a quick rinse to get any additional debris out and of course all of those suds all i've done so far is just rinse it out let's see what the bottom of the basket looks like looks pretty clean i just need to dry this off some people even just put it back in the air fryer turn it on and let it dry that way but i'm gonna hand dry mine absolutely spotless no grease no grime and definitely no baked on cheese now the reason i like this option this three minute cleaning option so much better than sticking this in my dishwasher is because some days i use my air fryer multiple times so once it's in the dishwasher uh, i'm not gonna take it out i'm just gonna let it go ahead and go through a cycle first my dishwasher may not be full so that may not be till the next day three minutes and i'm not gonna have to scrub this by hand super easy you're gonna like this one and i know i'm probably already mentioned this but 
I'll have my favorite air fryer linked below like always. This is the salt and pepper shaker hack. Now, I did not learn this one online. This one is brought to you because my best friend, Linda, let me know about it last time we were visiting her and it blew my mind. So if you don't know this hack, make sure in the comments you tell Linda, thank you, because you're gonna love it. So not only can this hack be used on salt and pepper shakers, all bottles like this, your little shaker bottles like your everything but the bagel seasoning, any of your Trader Joe's seasonings, they all have this little ridged bottom. And if you look in your pantry, your spice rack, you're gonna notice the majority of them are going to have that. Extreme close-up alert, but I'm trying to get it zoomed in so you can see right there. They have these raised edges, grooves along the bottom. Now, obviously, this is so that when they're on a flat surface, it's not gonna slide around as easily. But this also has another purpose, and it is for shaking purposes or dispensing purposes. So, you know, when you use your salt and pepper shaker, you're gonna shake it out, and the majority of the time, you're like, what is it, that Heinz or Hunt's ketchup commercial? You know, you're always trying to get that salt out or that pepper out. Well, you can solve that a couple of different ways. The way I'm getting ready to show you, or you can just go ahead and buy the electric gravity grinders, which I picked up a couple of months ago at this point. They've got batteries in here, and all you do is turn it upside down. It's gonna automatically start grinding for you and dispense it, so you don't have to shake it or do anything. And it also has a light on it. I show this thing all the time because I have the salt and pepper grinder. Love them. See, watch. So easy. But if you're still old school and you're using just regular salt and pepper shakers, you don't want to switch over, or you have a lot of the little shaker bottles like from Trader Joe's, Sam's, and places like that, the ones with the ridges on the bottom, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get these to dispense the ridges on the bottom. They're there for a reason, okay? You're gonna notice, like 99.9% .9 of all your jars or shaker bottles are gonna have this. All you're gonna do, turn it upside down so that the little ridges are gonna be facing upwards. You're gonna take another bottle that has ridges on it as well, and you're going to. That's it, and this is going to dispense effortlessly. No more shaking, no more trying to get that salt, pepper, or any other seasoning out. It's literally going to pour out for you just by doing that. Who knew? Okay, let me see if I can set this up and give you a quick demonstration. Using a piece of wax paper, hopefully it's gonna show up better. Now when you shake, you notice how you just get a little bit at a time. Turn the bottle upside down, put the ridges up against the other bottle. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. My kitchen always smells absolutely delicious, like I'm baking something. Now, you can use this hack in your kitchen or you can use it throughout your house. If you have a particular room that just has an odor, maybe that's where the kitty litter box is. This is the perfect hack to make that room smell better. Now, of course, we are just covering up an odor. You do need to get to the root of the problem. But this one is super simple and it's gonna be cheaper than like those little plugins that you pick up at Bath and Body. You can get these anywhere. You can get them at Dollar Tree. You can get them at Walmart. You name the store, they're gonna have them and normally they're only a dollar, obviously at Dollar Tree. If you get the larger packs, they're gonna be a little bit more and you can even order these little fragrance sticks from Amazon. They're literally, literally everywhere and in so many different varieties, you're gonna be able to find the perfect one for the room you wanna stick it in. Personal preference for me, anytime I put one of these in the kitchen, I always go with something like a sugar cookie or a fruity smell. I don't want anything that's gonna to be too overwhelming and perfumey, so I try to stick with tropical scents. You know what? They even have these out in like your Fraser fir, your Christmas tree scent, apple cinnamon. These are gonna be great for 
for the holidays too. People even hang these on their Christmas trees if they get artificial trees and they'll get the Christmas tree scent. So like evergreen, that way you have that smell throughout your home. But anyways, I digress. Let me tell you what you do with these. You're gonna attach them to your central heat and air vent that's on the floor so that when the air, heat, or air conditioning comes out, it's gonna blow that fragrance all over your home. Depending on which brand you end up picking up, some will have a string that you just loop through and you're gonna be able to attach it and some have hooks. So it just depends on which one you're gonna get. But you're gonna be attaching it to one of the little slits, one of the little vents right here. It's that simple. That's it, it's that easy. People are gonna wonder how your home always smells so amazing. Look for the nice kitchen fragrances like, you know, your sugar cookie, your apple cinnamon, pina colada, like what I got going on right now. I'm still in summer mode, people. I'm still in summer mode. Do you buy your garbage bags in bulk like I do? like at Sam's or Costco, that way you're not having to buy them every single week. I mean, seriously, that spool of garbage bags is like this big around. I store mine under the sink, but they end up all over the place because they're always getting knocked down. I have all of my cleaning supplies under my sink, like the majority of us. One dollar organization for those trash bags. Go to Dollar Tree, paper towel holder, one dollar. Put your roll of garbage bags on the paper towel holder slides right through. Keeps them neat and organized and not all over the place, just like your paper towels. So, only one dollar. Do you buy soda bottles like this? You know, the six pack that are attached with those pieces of plastic? Do you have a hard time breaking apart those soda bottles from that plastic or do you have to cut it? Did you know that there's actually a better way to open those up. There's a perforated line on that plastic that you pull and it's going to allow each one of those bottles just to detach. You're not gonna have to strain. This one is one my mom mentioned to me. We had already heard about it. Kerrigan, my daughter, had let me know about this one about six months ago, but for some reason, I never thought about sharing it with her, and she told me I definitely needed to share it with you guys because, especially if you have mobility issues, if you have issues with your wrists, if you have issues opening things, grip, you know these are hard to get apart. Pull that little tab, there you go. It's that simple. This one, I did find on TikTok. TikTok to the rescue. Now, if you are like me, and you're not a professional chef, then this one has been a game changer. I literally stink at flipping pancakes, basically turning anything, quesadillas, you name it, even an egg. I can't flip it in a pan without destroying it. Look over my disaster of a pan. I'm currently on the hunt for a new set. So if you have any recommendations, let me know what they are. But did you know this? You can flip anything in your pan just by flipping the pan. What? It seems so simple. How did I never think of this? Something that you have a hard time flipping? Put your spatula in here, flip the pan. All you gotta do is just flip the pan. Flip the pan, people. Seriously, you have to try this one. Unless, you know, you're like a chef or you're a master in the kitchen, but you guys already know, I am far from that. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you did subscribe. I do upload a video every single Saturday. So I'd love it if you became a member of my YouTube family. I'll see you all in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye guys.